Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll tell you a science fiction movie called Dawn the Planet of the Apes. Due to experiments on apes, the world hit by simian flu outbreak, make millions of people have died around the world. As a result, there was chaos everywhere and all government functions were suspended. Now we see Caesar, the leader of the apes who is going to hunt with large number of apes. They managed to trap a deer but a bear came and injured his son, Blue Eyes. Caesar came across to protect his son and called Koba to kill the bear. After finishing hunting, they returned to their homes in the deep forest. They built a village for the apes and learned to read letters with an orangutan named Maurice. After that, Caesar goes to see his wife, Cornelia, who giving birth to his second son and calls Blue Eyes to see his brother. Then, Caesar met Maurice, he talked about how far they had come. Then they talk about humans, who they have never been seen again and think that humans have disappeared. Tomorrow, Blue Eyes and his friend Ash are walking home when a man named Carver encounters them. Carver who was very scared to see the apes pulls out his gun and shot Ash. The gunshot alert the other apes, and they immediately came through the tree to face the human. But Carver is not alone, he with the other five who led by Malcolm try to calm the apes. But Caesar shouts at the group to go. Then the apes came to threaten and force them to leave, but they left a bag which was found by Maurice. Caesar ordered Koba with his two subordinates to follow the human find out where they came from. Malcolm and his group reached at the settlement guard post and meet with their leader named Dreyfus. He reported the condition of the dam was capable of generating power. However, they have another problem. He asked Dreyfus to get into the car and told him that they met an evolved monkey who could talk. Dreyfus told them not to mention it to anyone because it would create a panic situation. And a moment later, they reached the settlement. Meanwhile, Caesar and the other apes held a meeting. Some want to start a war before humans do, but Caesar didn't want to because if they go to war, they would lose what they had now. After the meeting, Koba tells Caesar that he wants to show the power of apes to humans. It made Caesar and all the apes go to the human settlement which make the human panic. Caesar declared that he doesn't want war, but they will fight if they must. He also returned the bag and told the humans not to come to their forest again. Dreyfus tries to calm the people who fear about the virus from the apes. He tells that they were immune to the virus and he also told them that they needed power from the dam in the forest of the apes. Dreyfus meets with Malcolm, he plans to fight with the apes, because the dam is the only power source they can use to survive. But Malcolm asks Dreyfus to give him three days to return to the forest and talk about it with Caesar. Dreyfus agreed, but if Malcolm didn't return in three days, he would kill all the apes in there. Malcolm immediately prepares his things when Ellie and his son, Alexander, asked to join with him. Malcolm agrees, and then, they go back to Caesar Forest with his team. After arriving, he goes alone to find Caesar in the forest, but he meet with the apes on his way, which dragged him to Caesar. Malcolm explained that he just wanted to use the dam, then he asked Caesar to follow him to the dam. After arriving, he explained again that they just wanted to use the dam as a power source, and if they hurt the apes, they can kill them. Caesar agreed, but they must hand over their weapons. In the village, Koba didn't agree with Caesar who helping humans and asked to attack them. But Caesar explained that if they go war with humans there will be many casualties from them. Later, Malcolm and his team set up camp in the jungle and talk about the apes that caused the simian flu. Tomorrow morning, Malcolm and his team began their work under Caesar's supervision. Meanwhile, Koba and his subordinates come to human settlement. He found the armory and see about there were enough weapons to kill all the apes. But then, two men see him on there and pointed their guns on him. Koba immediately acted dumb to fool them and let him go from there. Back at the dam, Malcolm and his team blew up the logs who blocking the flow of water, but it make them trapped in debris. The apes check them and help them out of the debris. Malcolm thanked Caesar and asked for more time as they had a lot of debris to remove, when Caesar's second son came to the group which make he the whole team stare cutely at him. But then, he found a hidden shotgun in the carver's toolbox, which made him immediately pick up the weapon and point it at the apes. Caesar came and took the shotgun from him and knock him down. Malcolm tries to calm the situation, but Caesar threw away the shotgun into the river and asked them to leave. As they pack up their things, Malcolm and Ellie go to see Caesar. But they saw Caesar who was concerned about Cornelia who was sick. Ellie offered to aid her with the medicine she brought. It makes Caesar give them one more day and will be helped by the apes. Foster forced Carver into the truck and took the key so he can't running away. They started working on the dam, but Koba came to warn about the humans had many weapons. He also almost attacked Alex, but Maurice stand in front of him. When Caesar arrived, Koba said that Caesar loved humans more than apes. It makes Caesar attacked him and punched him in the face until he was helpless. After that, Koba goes to see Blue Eyes and told him to protect Caesar because he was no longer trusted by Caesar. 
Tomorrow, Maurice came to the human camp and met Alex. Alex gave her a book for her help yesterday and started reading the book together. On the other side, Koba returned to the armory and entertained the same two mans by acting dumb. They shared a drink together casually, but Koba spit it out and take them off guard. Koba immediately picked up one of the weapons and killed them. Then he came back with the gun, then found Carver in the truck. He pulls him out of the truck and beat him to death. At the dam, they finally managed to reactivate the power generators at the dam and get the electricity flowing. Caesar took them to a high place to see the lights going up in the city. Then, Cornelia came, which made Caesar happy because his wife got better. When no one's looking, Koba burning down the ape's house and shot Caesar, which made Caesar fall from the tree. Koba leaves and left his weapon with Carver's cap. Maurice tells Malcolm and his team to leave. Koba is convinced that the humans who killed Caesar and burned down their house. He also command the apes to fight back against the humans. In the settlement, the humans are very happy because the electricity is back on. Dreyfus and his subordinates tried to find contact with the outside. Suddenly, someone reported to him that the apes were attacking the armory. Dreyfus gathered the people and orders his subordinates to drive the apes away from the wall. On the other side, the apes took their weapons and goes to the settlement. They started shooting at each other which killed several apes. Dreyfus fires rocket launcher who created a wall of fire. But Koba take out the armored vehicle and break their wall down. Koba orders to capture all humans to be made prisoners, so they can feel what it's like to be caged. They find a human tries to defend himself by swinging an iron rods, but Koba grab it from him and orders Ash to kill him. Ash refuses, which make Koba drag him to the second floor and killed him by dropping him. Meanwhile, Malcolm and his family find an injured Caesar. They take him to the truck to be treated at his old home. Caesar's loyalists have been handcuffed and locked in a bus. Blue Eyes see Maurice who tells to protect himself. Ellie has to operate on Caesar but she needs the equipment. Malcolm goes to find her equipment and try to get out without being caught. Blue Eyes finds him and pointed his weapon, but but he couldn't shoot him. Malcolm tells that his father is still alive and guides him to Caesar. Caesar told Blue Eyes that it wasn't humans who shot him, but Koba. Then Blue Eyes tells that his mother and sister are still safe for now. After the operation, Blue Eyes apologized to Caesar and asks him to show himself so the apes would leave Koba. But Caesar tells it wouldn't work if he was weak like now, then he ordered Blue Eyes to release his loyalists who were arrested. With the help of Maurice, Blue Eyes managed to free and leads them to Caesar. They tell Caesar that Koba had ordered the female apes and young apes to join him. Together with Malcolm, they go straight to Koba's location and finally reach Koba at the top of the tower. Koba faces Caesar and tells that he is the leader of the apes now. But Caesar provokes him by saying he's weak, which makes them fight. Caesar managed to injure Koba and make Koba angry, then Koba take the iron rod and attacking him. They get into fierce battle. Caesar hit the injured body part of Koba and cornered him. Meanwhile, Malcolm meets Dreyfus who is rigging a C4 explosive to bring down the tower and kill all the apes there. Malcolm took the gun and pointed it at them, he asked Dreyfus to give Caesar some time to sort these things out. But Dreyfus refused it, he grabbed the detonator and push it. A huge explosion occurred that killed him and his subordinates along with many apes in the tower, but Malcolm managed to avoid it. Amidst chaos, Koba take a weapon and shot every apes on there. Caesar jumps through Koba, knocking him over the edge as he hang on with his hand. Koba looks at Caesar and says ape not kill ape while Caesar pulls his hand up, but Caesar says that you are not an ape and drops Koba to his death. Malcolm went to see Caesar and warned him about the incoming military forces that would start the war. Caesar replied that ape had started the war first. Caesar told him to leave because there was no chance of peace for them. At the end of the movie, Caesar reunites with his family and becomes the leader of the apes again.